active and uh, get your tablets and phones in voice here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. May I read some uh, one, one comment, please? Sure. <laughs> the commissioner is only one person. She can't be where her staff are spread throughout the country and they're working. You will never know because you have never needed their services. Ask Mr. Short if he knows whether the house was occupied between 2010 when he vacated the building till the renovation. This is only one of the many, many questions people are asking all over the place. Yes coming through via WhatsApp. Thank you so much for sending your comments through. But you can send more of them through um, as we get interactive with you. It's your most interactive half hour. Let me just briefly tell you what we are discussing. Now, 220,000 CDs meant for development of the central region has been spent on fencing a graveyard. CityCom Public Relations Officer says the fencing was crucial because many important chiefs are buried there and that it could serve as a tourist site. Well, maybe the fencing was also very important to mark a clear boundary between the dead and the living. That one is from me, by the way, just on the lighter side. After all, I am discussing my people and we are blessed with a sense of humor. My name is Ifwakwa Harrison and this is JN Interactive. I'll be right back. When do you want this to show? Joy News Interactive is brought to you in association with Surfline. It's about time. Now, you can join us via all our social media pages. We are on facebook.com forward slash Joy News on TV. Also find us on Twitter with the same handle at Joy News on TV or at GN Interactive GH. Or send us an email. It is Joy News. I am at multitvworld.com or... There's WhatsApp as well. It's 0540109009. And Surfline proudly supports GN Interactive. Surfline, it's about time. Now, the central region is an educational hub. It's also a tourist hub. Kakum National Park, forests, forts, and castles. Cape Coast was once the country's capital, but sadly, like other regions, it is poor. It is the fourth poorest in Ghana, actually. Why can't the region take advantage of the tourism and rich historical uh, movement to propel development? Are you happy that 220,000 Ghana cities uh, were spent on fencing a graveyard? Well. Central region, I want to ask one simple question. I know a lot of you have multi-TV and watch multi-TV. Is fencing a graveyard number one on your priority list? Kindly tell me so that I can give CityCom a big applause on GNI. I'm waiting on you. My pounds are ready. But for now, let's listen to President Mahama when he visited Cape Coast recently. <laughs> The region that has so much potential in tourism education, it is absolutely unacceptable that that region should be the fourth poorest region of our country. It is absolutely unacceptable that that region should be the fourth poorest region of our country. And so on this occasion, the 50th anniversary, what we have to ask ourselves is, why is this the case? What are the opportunities that exist in Cape Coast that we are not taking advantage of to improve the income levels of the people of the central region. I address it to SEDECOM. I challenge SEDECOM to come out with a strategic plan for improving the economy of Cape, uh, central region and improving the incomes of the people of central region. And I wish to assure you if they come out with this plan, government is going to support it with the resources that are necessary to change the fortunes of the central region. There's more to the castle. There's more that can make that castle attractive. You can tell a story with that castle. And so I expect that the Ministry of Tourism and SEDECOM will partner and put more life into the castle so that people want to come and take a look at it and be educated by what they see. 
There's a lot that we can do if we partner with each other. Well, the president has summed it up nicely. Now, let's listen to what Cape Coasters are saying about this issue. Looking at the, the cemetery uh, project, I think it's a misplaced priority. You remember this year's fatal affair? The president asked uh, SEBICOM, the Central Region Development Commission, to live up to task because the people in the region do not know what SEBICOM is doing. You see them starting a marketing project somewhere. Later, they will come and tell us that oh, the place was a waterlog and that we've moved the project to another place. The last time I heard, even a path leading to somebody's uh, house, a SEDICOM have gone to just gobble the place. In which the region, I think we are the fourth uh, uh, poverty uh, region in, in Ghana. And SEDICOM, we have this whole commission. And you should ask people in the region, they don't know about SEDICOM. I think with the three issues, fine, but you, you hear about them more often. SEDICOM have been in the region and ask any a particular person in the region what is SEDICOM doing. I think it's about time the government dissolves SEDICOM. They should look through their books, what they have been doing with the money or the money allocated to them. I'm not a former president, uh, His Excellency John Mills, allocated some funds to SEDICOM. And up to tax, people in the region, we don't know what SEDICOM is doing with our, with our money. So if they have you know, misplaced this money into this cemetery thing, I think, I think the government must call them to, to order. Because one, if you come to the region, teenage pregnancy is an ascendancy. When you come to the region, we don't have job to do, especially in Cape Coast. And we have SEDICOM sitting in the office 24-7 doing nothing, pushing our money to things that uh, we don't need in the region. So the views of people in Cape Coast. Well, let me read you a headline that is currently on myjoyonline.com. Shoddy Sedecom projects unusable. Chief wants president to, or wants rather, president to investigate. I just read briefly a little bit of it, the story. More than four develop development projects undertaken by the Central Region Development Commission have been left unused by residents who say work on the projects was shoddy. The chiefs and people of the region say they suspect misappropriation in the management of SEDECOM established and funded by government to initiate economic and social ventures to facilitate development in the central region. After months of investigations into the activities of SEDECOM, it emerged that apart from neglect of many initiated projects in the region, those completed are unusable. The projects SEDECOM completed, albeit poorly, include a midwifery training school at Salpon, an assembly hall complex for the Sueju Senior High School, a restaurant at Eguafo in Commenda Edina Eguafo Ibrim uh, Municipality, regraveling of Asin Fosu Central Lorry Park, a community police station at Agona, and a staff bungalow for the commission. And it goes on and on to also include that SEDECOM used the 220,000 Ghana cities that we've mentioned to you. 
this evening of funds meant to develop the region on a fence wall for a graveyard in what residents say was a wasteful venture. So that is on myjoyonline.com right now. You can go on there and read a lot more of the developments coming through from our correspondent over there, Richard Kojo Nyaku. We'll be right back. <laughs> Fencing the dead and exposing the living only in the central region. This is what we've been talking about on GN Interactive this evening. My name is Ifwakwa Harrison. But this question goes to Cape Coasters. Is fencing of a, grade, of a graveyard top of your developmental needs? We've been asking on Facebook and Bernard Kwame Hart said, never, how, how do we never? actually never how do we benefit from that how many tourists come to visit graveyards cape coast uh, school for the deaf i think or deaf and anchor full psychiatric hospital need more assistance not a graveyard abdel manaf Mourinho says hmm, Ga hmm ghanians need a very competent governance not this we need our own oil refinery to refine our oil at Cape Three Points and not this. Mensa Kunto Stevens says, at the moment, Ghana needs three important things, education, health, jobs, which would come naturally when we focus on building our industries. If any government is not working towards this, then the government is simply incompetent. Uh, Richard Efrie says, Efrie rather, says, Ghanaians are too accommodating. This can't happen in Ukraine, Argentina, Yemen, Turkey, etc. Hashtag Ghanaians arise. Christian Salvo does not think so. This is definitely not part of your priority list. Kwame Ansa says, Portable water, re reliable electricity, and good education. Uh, Baba Abdullah says a complete misplaced, misplacement of priorities. Uh, Osajifu Yaldramina, you say this can only happen in Fanti land. That's infrastructure development made in Ghana. Uh, Majid Awudu, you are from Gushegu, and you say this is. Absolutely, Bukum. How can or Bunkum? How can fencing a graveyard be a developmental need of people? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. They Ch Chingaling Owusu says they Owusu says they will fence a graveyard when people have no place to sleep. They will build an airport in the north when people cannot get safe drinking water and that's from chingling owusu kwame koko steven says instead of ghana developing i see ghana going back they are just telling the westerners that black man is not capable of handling his own affairs prioritize dead over living hearing this makes me sick and so those are your comments coming through on Facebook. Let's take our next video blog. And this is still your most interactive half hour. Well, Joint News Correspondent in the Central Region, Richard Kojo Nyako, joins us via Skype. Welcome to GN Interactive, Richard. Richard? Richard, welcome to GN Interactive. Can you please um, tell us what the latest on SEDECOM is? Well, uh, I quite remember that about four years ago, SEDECOM was given five points. That was after the late president, John Evans Atamo, started 
to reactivate or to energize CEDICOP. And so the, the commission was set up, the board was inaugurated and all of that. So they initiated some plans and their mandate was to look at the, um, to create employment and also to help reduce the poverty level among the people in the central region. You know, central region is ranked for poverty level, apart from the three northern regions, upper east, upper west, and the northern region. And four years down the line, Joy News decided to investigate, to find out what has been really done. And so we started, we went to the Swedish Sports Stadium. We went there, and that place, um, four points, see, four Ghana cities, thousand Ghana cities. So in the old Ghana cities, we are looking at almost five billion was voted to projects. That place was only painted and the start to, but the place was overgrown with weeds. We also went to the Swedu um, graveyard where Sericom had voted 220,000 for the fencing of the cemetery. So I went back to them and asked them, why should we put the taxpayers' money in fencing a graveyard? And they told me that the, the, their plan was to use because that place was where it was. Okay, we are experiencing some technical challenges there. We'll try and get Richard right back um, to just update us on uh, the SEDECOM issue. Let me just take a few more of your comments. Okay. So a few more of your comments coming through on Facebook. Can someone also hand me my tab so that I can read uh, some of the WhatsApp messages? Okay, Modestus Gold, you say, how, that, how can this be while we are in the era of, e era of economic crisis? We use this huge amount for the dead. What has the dead got to do with the living? And does this contribute to national development? Something must be, something must really be done. So Modestus Gold, that is your comment. Jerry Danso says, simply says, hmm. And while that loads, okay. A lot of you think this is ridiculous. Bill Parawin says, why did Ghanaians go wrong? Uh, leadership in this country is very poor. Uh, Emmanuel Eduapia says, I sometimes wonder if we can ever make our chances through to the state of developed nations. Stanislav Kofi Jemia says, only in Ghana. Abdullah Abdul Razak says, our leaders must be serious about the plight of the ordinary Ghanaian who continues to sleep in darkness without lights. Only God can salvage the image of our motherland. We need competent and dedicated leaders to alleviate the suffering of the ordinary Ghanaian who continues to wallow in poverty. And so those are your messages coming through uh, via Facebook. I had some of your video messages um, via WhatsApp, but I don't have enough time to take them. I'm, I apologize for that, but we'll try and take them tomorrow. A um, few of your WhatsApp messages. Actually, a lot of the WhatsApp messages are on Shraj. Shraj. Welcome back, Steve. Yeah. I wish I could read them. We don't have a lot of time, but it means that Shraj is a very big issue now, as, as well as... Uh, the fence around the cemetery that should be a luxurious cemetery then I very reckon. very i mean apparently I mean, posh cemetery. apparently it's it's supposed to serve as a tourist attraction once mm. it's done but i mean hey the question tourist is, attraction i mean yeah. you can go there and sit somewhere and drink coffee right yeah, yeah, uh -huh. but, but you but you know that doesn't work 
in our part of the yeah. world because of the kinds of feelings we have towards the dead. The dead. So it's yeah. not like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to go take my dog on a walk. On a walk through the cemetery. The cemetery. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. So yeah, that's, that's it. That's, that's about that's it. it. That's and, about um, it. The news will be will be up. The, the news will be up next, and uh, Prince Minka will be here with the news. And mm -hmm. uh, look, uh, have you been following this whole discussion on Shraj and the Shraj boss? I mm. mean, this this afternoon in the newsroom, it was a heated it's, argument. Yeah, it was right? a very heated <laughs> argument. Heated you know, argument. Uh, confusion about well, they say it is required to house her and you know all that. Uh, but 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 can you imagine that you live in a hotel, you're paying four hundred sixty-five dollars a night. With your child, oh, that would be posh, really. I wish I could have that treat. I have a comment here, but you did not add your name or location. Shrudge really? my foot. I'm really disappointed. That lady has nothing to offer except to mismanage. But we haven't heard from her, so. Mm. Well, we'll leave she's it. She's out uh, of the but, country. But she, she said that um, she has said that uh, those who are calling for her resignation are doing so out of ignorance, really. Yeah, I mean, so you, heard, you know, heard on our show one of the lawyers saying that more it's, a, it's a tall need, order to yeah, even to remove done, the impeachment so, process and yeah. everything. So, well, if you disagree, you can start the impeachment process. Uh, my name is Stephen Antti, and we're grateful that you could hang out with us. My name is Ifwakwa Harrison. Have a good night. Good evening. Join News Interactive was brought to you in association with Surfline. It's about time.